Okay, let's take a quick look at how to use the lookup wizard in Access to make a drop down table in your database so that you don't have to hand enter everything. So here we've got a partial employees table and we're going to add an employee category here um, on the end so we can tell if an employee is a salaried employee or an hourly or a temporary employee. So I'm going to go to my design view and I'm going to scroll down to a blank line here and I'm going to add in employee category and it uh, shows up here as a text field which it is but we want to use the lookup wizard so um, if I have those values that I'm looking for listed in another table I can pull them from another table but we don't have these values listed anywhere so I'm going to type in what I want um, here for example if we were if we were working in the properties table we could pull from the categories table because these categories are categories of properties. So that's one thing you can do, but we're not doing that for this. Um, and here I'm going to type in, let's see, salaried would probably be most common. And then if I hit enter, it takes me to the next screen. I don't want to do that. I want to hit tab or use my mouse key to go down to the next box. So salaried and then um, hourly and then temporary. So remember that if you hit enter and go to the next screen, you can always click your back button there. Um, we're going to leave the name at employee category. If I wanted to allow other values to be entered, I wouldn't have to limit it to the list, but I am going to limit it because I can't think of anything else I'd want to put in there. If you have a case where you want to allow more than one of those categories to be selected, you would check this box, and then we'll finish. Uh, I'm going to change the field size just because, and I'm going to set a default value here. Um, hang on a second, the default value will be salaried. Okay, and let's see how that looks. When we go back, we'll have to save it. Right here is our employee category, and we can set the different ones. And here in this new category down here, in this new record, it already put salaried in there because it is a new record. So it would do that for all the following ones. But for the ones that we've previously entered, we have to go tell Access what we want there. And that's how you use the lookup wizard.